Welcome again to Ancient Tales for Today. Well, we've been following along here as we've gone through the wanderings of the people of Israel. They're going around in circles. How many years? 40 years. Now they have finally, at last, entered into the promised land. And so now, what is going to happen? Some of the most famous stories of the Bible are going to happen, well, not in today's lesson, but today's lesson is about, are you a friend or an enemy? This will be lesson number 73, friend or enemy. Stay by as we listen to the story. Story 73, Friend or Enemy? The ancient tales describe an interesting meeting that Joshua had as leader of the people of Israel. One day, Joshua was near the town of Jericho, and a man holding a sword came towards him. I don't know about you, but I would have asked the same question as Joshua. Are you a friend or an enemy? You would want to know that, wouldn't you? You would want to know if you needed to take your sword and be ready to fight, or if you could relax. It's important to know if someone is going to attack you as an enemy or treat you as a friend. The answer the man gives is very interesting. He says he is neither a friend nor an enemy. In other words, he doesn't take sides why not? Because, as he says, he is the commander of God's armies. In other words, the God of heaven cares for both sides. He is not a friend to one and an enemy to the other. Joshua bows down to the ground and asks what the man wishes him to do. The man just tells him to take off his sandals because he is standing on holy ground. What is important about this is that Moses had the same experience when he saw the burning bush and heard the voice of heaven. He was also told he was standing on holy ground. Joshua needed to know that he too was following the same path that Moses had followed. Joshua bowed before the same God that Moses did. We also need to know we are on the right path we need the assurance that heaven is not against us and that we are doing what we should. We also need to know that heaven does not choose sides, but wants to help everyone who chooses the right. Welcome back. We've looked and heard the story, you saw the words, you heard uh, the story. Now we're going to look at the first half of the story. To begin with, the ancient tales describe an interesting meeting. This meeting. What is a meeting? A meeting is a Okay, it's usually Hui Mian, a meeting between two people, a meeting between a group of people. Okay, in this case, the meeting is uh, that of that Joshua, the leader of Israel, had. Okay, now remember, there's a new leader in Israel. Uh, Moses has died. He has led Israel for more than 40 years. Now he is dead. There's a new uh, leader that's leading all of these people. His name is Joshua. He's the leader of the people of Israel. One day, Joshua was near the town of Jericho. Okay, he, Jericho. Now remember, he's on the other side of the river. I mean, he's on the same side of the river 
as Jericho is. They have 已经过了约旦河 Okay, remember we already talked about that story. Now, he was near the town of Jericho, Yeliko Cheng, and a man holding a sword. Okay, 有一个人拿着剑 Okay, you use it's a big knife. It's a big sharp knife. It's used for battles for war. Okay, a man holding a sword started to come towards him. Whoa! So, what would you do if somebody was had a sword in his hand? You don't know whether he's a good guy or a bad guy, and he's coming toward you. Ah.、Uh, I don't know about you, but I would have asked the same question as Joshua. Oh, I, 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 I Want to know that, wouldn't you? You 肯定是要知道啊、uh, 这个答案是不是 Are you a friend? 你是朋友还是敌人 You would want to know if you needed to take your sword and be ready to fight, or whether you could relax. 你肯定要明白，是不是要拿自己的剑准备打，还是可以放松 ？You would want to know if you needed to take your sword and be ready to fight, or if you could relax. So this is what you would want to know. That's what he wanted to know.、Uh, going on. It is important to know if someone is a friend or a we say friend or foe, okay, as a friend or an enemy.、Uh, typically in English we say, "Are you friend or foe?" 你是朋友啊，还是敌人 ？Friend or foe? F O E. Okay. It's important to know if somebody is going to attack you, 攻击你 or、uh, as an enemy, or treat you as a friend. 他会不会攻击你，还是要、uh, 对待你，好像朋友一样 So this is, I mean, honestly speaking, when it comes to real life. We always look at people, and that's the first question we ask: Are you friend or foe? Can I trust you? Are you a good guy or a bad guy?、Uh, uh, do I need to be afraid, or can I relax and be、uh, peaceful? Okay, but I find it very interesting that the man gives an answer. A surprising answer. Okay, 很有趣的回答 He says he is neither friend or enemy. 两个都不是，他不是敌人，他也不是朋友 He is not friend or enemy. And you know. This caused me to do a little bit of thinking, because why would this person say he was not enemy and not a friend? In other words, he does not take sides. He doesn't take sides. 他不站在一边，不站在另外一边。He does not choose 
one side or the other. Now, the question I was thinking is, why not? Why not? Because, now listen, this is very important. Because he says he is the commander of God's armies. commander. Okay, in my estimation, then that means uh, he stands for the good people and he's against the bad people. 表面上, but notice, the reason he said, I am not friend or foe or friend or enemy is simply because heaven cares for both sides. 他在关心关怀两边, both sides, the good people and the bad people. God still wants to save the bad people. In fact, all through the ancient tales, we find God even trying to help the bad people. Incredible! Even though they're bad people, God has tried many different ways to help them. And God says here, I am the God of of both sides. Whoa, that's interesting. Now, what's going to happen? Well, first of all, we're going to have some light on our path, and then we'll come back to the story. For now, here's light on the path. Okay, now for some light on our path. In Ezekiel 18.23, let's turn to Ezekiel 18.23. 我们可以看以西结书十八章二十三节。以西结书十八章二十三节。This is a very short, it's actually a long section, but I'm just choosing one little verse here. God says, I do not take any pleasure in the death of of the wicked, or he says, do I take any pleasure in the death of the wicked? Says the Sovereign Lord, rather, am I not pleased when they turn from their ways and live? Uh, 这里呢是说到, 主耶和华说, 恶人死亡, okay, I, as as you have listened to the story today and as you have looked at this story, what 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 are you thinking? Uh Ailaush Jiga Jingwen Ha Wajin Kan Yihuajin 他们有的时候觉得上帝是审判他们的，他们觉得上帝很可怕。但是这个圣经告诉我们，上帝岂不愿意我们每个人都存活吗？嗯，是不是？是。Uh, mm. uh, actually, it's quite interesting. We think God is the friend mm. of Haoren, and He is the enemy of Huiren. Mm. But this text tells us that God loves the good people. He also loves the bad people, wow. but he wants them to change. Mm. He doesn't want them to to hide out Okay, so he wants them to change, but he doesn't hate, and he's not going to punish. But uh, I mean, Okay, so I think the important thing is God loves. Bad people, too. He only wants them to change. Welcome back. Now, the, the one thing that we have noticed so far that God is speaking to Joshua, 
He's the commander of God's armies, 神的军队 and yet he is not a friend of one and an enemy of the other. And I think that this is important. He wants God wants to be friends with all people. Going on, Joshua bows down to the ground. He bows down to the ground. Ju Gong, all the way to the ground. In fact, the the actual word in the Hebrew, he he puts his Face on the ground, okay. To we pung dao di, okay, and he asks. This is Joshua. He's asking what the man wishes him to do. Ah, 他就问这个人到底你要我做什么 What is your wish? What do you want me to do? Okay. The man just tells him, "Okay, now this is very interesting.、Uh, excuse me, take off your sandals." The man just tells him to take off his sandals, sandals, 拖鞋 okay, 拖鞋 or you can say because or 凉鞋 whatever the case is, take off your shoes, 把你的鞋子拿掉 because he. Is standing on holy ground, in way, 他站的地方是圣地 He is standing on holy ground. 他站的地是圣地 Okay. What is important about this is that Moses had the same experience. 你记得这个摩西有同样的一个经验 You remember that story? In this that time,、uh, there was a bush on fire. 有荆棘，但是啊、uh, 在烧，但是不会烧灭。And then the voice said, "Moses, take off your shoes, your sandals, because you're standing on holy ground." Now Joshua is having the same experience. Okay, and he. Heard the voice from heaven. He was told that he was standing on holy ground. So, what? Oh, okay. Let's go on. 他站的地是圣地 Let's go on, please. Joshua needed to know. That he too was following the same path that Moses had followed. Joshua 也需要知道，他走的路也是摩西走的路。So both men, first Moses had this experience. Now Joshua has this experience and. Personally,、um, I find this very important because it's evidence that God is building His faith. 他要增加他的信心。Ah,、uh, you know, sometimes I don't know about you, but have you had an experience、uh, where you gain confidence? You 就开始Ah,、uh, 相信对方 okay. You gain this confidence. You believe in him. You trust in him, okay. This helps us to be strong. 特别是这个困难来到的时候 when difficulties happen, and、uh, then we need to remember. Oh, God has given me evidence. 他给我证据 That he is with me. I stood on holy ground. 我是站我站过这个圣地 God spoke to me. These are things that help us remember. 
Joshua bowed before the same God Moses did. 他鞠躬的时候是向着摩西所拜的神一样，是完全一样的神。So this was very important to him. Okay, here's something else. How do you know what to do in life?、Uh, how do you know that you're going the right direction? 你怎么知道你所选的方向是对了 ？Hi, I have been a high school principal. 我做中学校长 many many years. It's very interesting to note. Very interesting to note that the biggest question people ask is, "What is God's will?" 上帝的旨意到底什么 ？Am I doing the right thing? Am I going the right direction? Okay, God is willing to give us evidence. He 愿意给我们证据 We also need to know we're on the right path. 我们应该知道我们走的路是对的 We need the assurance that heaven is not against us. 我们必须有天国的肯定。天国不是我们的敌人，很友善。天国是友善。God is friendly. God is for us. We need to know this. We need to know that we're walking right and we're not making mistakes. This is the one of the big lessons I learned in this lesson.、Uh, we are doing. What we should do. We also need to know that heaven does not choose sides, like we mentioned in the first half of the program. So, 上帝不会选好坏 but He is willing to help even bad people, everyone who chooses right. 但是条条件是什么 We must choose the right. Some people. Uh, never choose the right, so they have a problem. God is against them, but if we are willing to change and choose the right, then God will stand on our side. He will stand on our side. He will help us. He will bless 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 us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed us. We have now some words you need to know. Okay, and now for some words you need to know. Okay, the first one we're going to look at here is. An interesting meeting. Now, a meeting has several meanings,、mm. but in this case, a meeting is. 会面见面见面、mm. Yeah, that's true. So when I have met with somebody to meet with somebody, I have had. 已经过去了。嗯。I have had a. 哎，老师，这个地方它有加 ing 哈 meeting， 这是一个。Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a participle, gerund parsi participle. Yeah,、okay. uh, we put them together.、Mm. Okay, 会面 Good. Next one is relax. Ah, 放松放松啦 Yeah, we need to do that. It's almost the weekend. Uh, 周末快到了 Yeah. And I can relax. 是的，所以我们今天的衣服都很都很轻松的 <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, the next one is the commander of God's armies. Commander. Ah,、uh, 元帅。元帅。上帝军队里面的元帅。Yes. Okay. Commander. Can you say that? Commander. Okay. Good. And we've looked at this before, but it's nice to look at again. Here's another one. Path. 小路 Okay. A 
path is、uh, Xiao Lu.、Mm. And then finally, we all need some assurance. Uh, this is 肯定是不是 Yes, that's true.、Uh, to assure somebody、mm. is 肯定某一个人 Hmm, assure.、Okay. Uh, so assurance is is the、uh, this the good words. Or the good things that people、mm. say about us. This is assurance. Can you say that? Assurance. Very good. Very good. Your pronunciation is very good. Okay, I think that's all the time we have for words you need to know. Okay, now we come to the last little section of our lesson. Oh, we have been looking at friend or enemy.、Uh, so we have discovered that God is a friend of all people, and all we have to do, 唯一的条件 is for us to choose the right, and He will be a friend of every single person. Well, our next chapter will be. Number seventy-four: Collapsing Walls, a very interesting story about Jericho. Collapsing walls, 城墙崩塌 So, join us next time for another interesting lesson from Ancient Tales for today. That's all for today, and thanks for watching. If you like ancient tales for today, please visit atft.chinesehope.tv. You may also contact us by writing to ancienttalesfortoday@gmail.com. Again, that's ancienttalesfortoday@gmail.com. Tell your friends about ancient tales for today. See you next time.